well, well, it looks like Roblox is in trouble yet again. Roblox is in some serious trouble wobble. Roblox just got sued and it could end really badly. Parents suing Roblox for not taking action against underage gambling? Wait, why? So Roblox is getting sued, fellas. This is not clickbait. This is not a joke. Roblox is actually facing a lawsuit right now for something. Roblox sued a YouTuber for $1.6 million. Roblox is being sued yet again. I'm suing Roblox. Roblox is an online game platform and game creation system developed by Roblox Corporation that allows users to program games and play games created by other users. According to them, it is safe for everybody to play, and there's totally nothing suspicious happening behind the scenes that they would potentially get sued for. But I'm not going to lie, there's going to be some lawsuits that I will be mentioning that are kind of funny in my opinion, but there's also going to be some ones that pissed off the entire Roblox community. And I'll also be mentioning the one that happened three weeks ago, which was about illegal gambling to minors, which I'm not surprised by the way. So the timeline is going to be ranked from the past to the most recent and some of these things i actually did not even know about myself so it's going to be a bit interesting for me to talk about as well but yeah enjoy the video the diva lawsuit this lawsuit occurred when roblox saw a certain hat that was based off of an american new wave band formed in 1973 called devo and all the band members wore this specific red lego dome hat which is formerly known as energy dome and it was a big part of their band or brand and so roblox saw this hat that they wore and they decided to upload it to the roblox catalog shop on september 11th 2009 in which i'm assuming the accessory was also called energy dome or something similar to devo two days later on september 13th 2009 Devo saw the Roblox accessory and they were pretty furious that Roblox was making profit off of something that's part of their brand and they proceeded to notify Roblox Corporation to take the accessory down or else they will take legal action against them for copyright and of course Roblox took it down. But did Devo sue them for copyright infringement? No, they didn't. Roblox stopped selling the hat and changed the name to impossible to obtain red wedding cake to prevent being sued. The Cinemark Lawsuit According to Roblox.Phantom.com, this lawsuit was filed by Cinemark USA, one of the largest theaters chains in the United States, against Roblox and the dozens of its users for alleged trademark infringement on June 2nd, 2016. According to the lawsuit, users created games, including Cinemark theaters and games reenacting the 2012 Aurora Sh Cinemark claims that the creators of these games, quote, knowingly and or recklessly make false statements that disparage Cinemark's good name, business reputation, services, products, and goods. The creators did so with the intent to cause, and actually cause, pecuniary loss to the Cinemark. The following games were deleted in response to the lawsuit. Roblox, Cinemark, Alpha, Cinemark, and... Cinemark. Some other games were deleted as well. If you want more information, TechThread has a whole document talking and showcasing the entire lawsuit, and it'll be linked in the description down below. The Nintendo lawsuit. This lawsuit was filed by Nintendo in September 2016 due to copyright infringement. The cause was from Roblox game developers making games using Super Mario and Pokemon characters. I'm only going to talk about the Pokemon characters. But there's this one specific game that most OG players know called... Pokemon Brick Bronze. This game alone is the biggest Pokemon game on the Roblox platform. So many big YouTubers were playing this game and making videos about it to the point where it has gained tens of thousands of players every single day. And all of this started on October 16th, 2015. This game was a legend. This game was a masterpiece. Everybody loved this game. Like even some people favorited that game and they never favored games, but they still did it anyway because the game was just that good but what they didn't know is that nintendo is the only company that can use these characters since they're the ones that made it which means the game's f***ed. Roblox received a lawsuit from Nintendo and threatened to take legal action since some game developers used their characters without permission in September 2016. This lawsuit led to games being deleted, including Pokemon Brick Browns, which to this day still upset so many Roblox players in the community. Hey everyone, it's your friend Thing Noodles, and I'm sad because Pokemon Brick Bronze is gone. Um, I mean, guys, this isn't like fake or clickbait or anything. This is literally, this is content deleted right here. 
Break Bronze version, a million favorites, one of the only games I ever favorited. This is not clickbait or some browser trick or something. This is the real deal. Everything is gone. <sighs> Even though it was one of my favorite Roblox games, I had a feeling it was going to get deleted eventually. If you try and play a Pokemon game, there's just going to be copies from the original Break Bronze game that will just get taken down pretty much all the time. So don't expect it to stay on the platform for that long. The Oof Sound Effect Lawsuit According to Adventure Beats and BBC, this lawsuit was filed by the owner of Intellivision Entertainment and longtime game sound creator in 2019 due to a copyright dispute over the infamous sound effect known as the Oof Sound Effect. This sound effect was originally used in a completely different game created by someone named Tommy Tellerico that was released back in 2000. And in early 2017, Roblox heard the sound effect and decided to add it after the spread of the meme in late 2016. From late 2018 to late 2020, scrolling down to the bottom of any page on a mobile device showed a message saying, Ooh. but did Roblox give any credit to Tommy for using the sound effect he made? The short answer is no. No, they didn't. Tommy didn't notice this until 2019 where he discovered how similar the Roblox Ooh sound effect was to the sound he made for the game he worked on. So he decided to contact Roblox. In 2020, an agreement was reached between Tommy and Roblox, which meant that anyone making a Roblox experience would have to pay $1 or 100 Robux to be able to use the sound in their game. Tommy also agreed to work with Roblox to quote, develop other game sounds for them, end quote. He spoke to the BBC in 2020 and said, it's amazing to think that such a small sound I made over 20 years ago from a different video game ended up being one of the most iconic pop culture audio clips of the 21st century. I would hear kids saying it on playgrounds and didn't even realize that they were repeating something I had created over two decades ago. However, two years later, in their announcement, Roblox has confirmed that the famous oof sound effect would be removed. For now, the community will have to bid farewell to the oof sound effect. The MPA versus Roblox lawsuit. According to Verity, this lawsuit occurred on June 9th, 2021 by NMPA members due to Roblox quote unquote illegally using songs from numerous artists and was suing them for $200 million. They claimed that the songs are being used in Roblox's online game without the company compensating writers or copyright holders, including those recorded by Ariana Grande, Imagine Dragons, Dead Mouse, Ed Sheeran, and the Rolling Stones, among other artists, according to NMPA. The next day, Roblox responded by stating that it quote it does not tolerate copyright infringement and they were surprised and disappointed by a lawsuit filled by behalf of NMPA members. Roblox also said as a platform powered by a community of creators we are passionate about protecting intellectual property rights from independent artists and songwriters to music labels and publishers and require all Roblox community members to abide by our community rules. We do not tolerate copyright infringement which is why we use industry leading advanced filtering technology to detect and prohibit unauthorized recordings. The company also claimed that it quote unquote expeditiously responds to valid DMCA takedowns and takes action against repeat offenders. As part of its response to the NMPA lawsuit, Roblox said, We believe that Roblox Metaverse provides a massive opportunity for the music industry. The company noted that it has partnered with several major music labels and publishers for in game music events attended by millions of fans, for such as artists including Ava Max, Lil Nas X, Why Don't We, Royal Blood, and Zara Larson. We are committed to continuing to partner with the music industry to unlock new, creative, and official opportunities for artists and songwriters through virtual merchandise, exclusive virtual concerts, launch parties, and more, Roblox said. NMPA president slash CEO David Israelite said that Roblox's response, quote, sounds like just other tech companies who have been caught stealing music and ultimately paid a price, end quote. Both parties had to do a lot of negotiation until September 7th, 2021, where they finally got into an agreement that, quote, settles any previous claims against Roblox and sets the foundation for future partnerships with global publishers that will unlock new creative and commercial opportunities on its platform. According to the announcement, Roblox will work closely with the global music publishing industry to help them unlock new ways for music to be more meaningful, integrated into the global Roblox community of more than 48 million daily active users at the time. The deal paves the way for innovative partnerships between Roblox and publishers that will offer songwriters new ways to monetize their songs and catalogs. NMPA president and CEO David Israelite commented on the agreement saying, we are extremely pleased to have found a way 
way forward with Roblox as it continues to offer a unique platform for musicians and songwriters in the metaverse, it says. Roblox understands that music has the potential to play a more integral role on its platform. I appreciate Roblox's willingness to work with us in pursuit of advancing the interests of publishers and songwriters and look forward to seeing how they expand virtual experiences through music. Roblox Vice President, Global Head of Music, John Vazopoulos, added, We are delighted to have come to terms with select NMPA members, building our existing relationships with major publishers. We are pleased that the publishing industry sees the potential of Roblox to be a significant creative and commercial opportunity for its members. Music is a way for people to express themselves, be entertained, and connect with like-minded people. We strive to offer experiences that bring millions of fans together with the songwriters and artists they love. Roblox currently enables labels and publishers to reach millions of fans at once in hyper-social, immersive environments such as launch parties and virtual concerts. Moving forward, we are committed to partnering with the music industry as a whole to create an exciting new social era of the music business which engages fans and artists in an unprecedented way in the metaverse. The Roblox versus Ruben Sim lawsuit. By the way, I just woke up, so don't mind that. This lawsuit is actually a bit different and more controversial, but I wanted to include it in the video since it's kind of evolving with the topic sued, but Roblox decided to slam the Uno reverse card on a table. This specific lawsuit occurred on November 2021 when the Roblox Corporation actually sued a documentative YouTuber called Ruben Sim for $1.6 million in charges and all the money he made from YouTube and Patreon. They alleged in a lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern district of california that he formed a quote-unquote cyber mob that terrorized the roblox platform and company employees after he was banned and accused him of taking down rdc 2021 behavior uploading nude photos of himself to the website abusing roblox staff members showing pictures of etc etc once the news was announced the entire roblox community was shot and so many big youtubers inside and outside roblox were talking about it roblox the multi-billion dollar company is suing a youtuber for 1.6 million dollars what you're looking at on the screen right here is probably the biggest roblox news we're gonna have all year long but one in particular has earned the designation of being sued by roblox for 1.6 million dollars in damages yeah i have to look at the lawsuit once again yeah, it's 1.6. It's pretty bad. Roblox is suing a YouTuber. Hey man, had a Polygon reporter reach out to you about a lawsuit filed against you by Roblox. Want me to forward that to you? Sorry to hear this is going on. It sounds like some bull. And at first, I thought that Polygon was being trolled because I couldn't believe that Roblox was actually going to sue me. The day before Thanksgiving, I woke up and I checked my phone and my Twitter inbox and my Discord inbox are full of people saying stuff like, good luck, Ruben, I hope you get through this. We wish you the best. And I thought it was really weird that a journalist from Polygon knew about this lawsuit before I even knew about it, before anyone knew about it. And I think that the only way that that's possible would be if someone tip them off if someone really wanted them to report on that. They state that I tweeted an image of one of their openly gay staff members, which has been photoshopped to depict him nude. And he thought that it would be a good idea while working at Roblox as their social media manager to post nudes of himself on Tumblr where anyone could see them. Ruben didn't Photoshop anything. He was just showing what was already there. During the Roblox employees time at the company, Roblox never stopped the blogs, nor did they acknowledge it before the lawsuit. So essentially Roblox was trying to punish Ruben for the bad decisions they made. So Roblox literally looked up infractions from my childhood to use against me in a legal document when I'm 25 now. I thought Thought that was ridiculous this whole time while i'm reading this legal complaint i'm thinking like aren't there files on roblox aren't there predators that have groomed hundreds of kids why am i the one that's being targeted with a lawsuit when there's way worse people out there who are way more deserving of something like this it was possibly one of the biggest roblox events that's ever happened eventually the accusations were proven false and both sides came into an agreement and let ruben sim pay $150,000 of attorney fees and to never play roblox again The voice chat database lawsuit. This lawsuit happened in January 2022 where a kid wanted to have his face ID and ID removed for privacy reasons, which unfortunately there was no option for. And so he proceeded to email Roblox asking them if there was any way they could remove his IDs off the platform, and they told him that they couldn't remove his information. Later on, he and one of his guardians actually formed a lawsuit against them for their quote-unquote violations of the Illinois Biometric Information Privacy Act, and to obtain redress for all persons' injuries by defendants' conduct. Pretty much 
much suing them for breaking the ID privacy because they failed to prove that they delete ID info or the user's biometric info from their server slash database. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if the kid won or if Roblox won. There's no new information about the lawsuit that I know of, but this is a mystery for me and some others as well. If there is new info about the lawsuit, let me know in the comments. Greatly appreciated. The Kim Kardashian quote unquote lawsuit. This is probably one of the funniest lawsuits in my opinion because it became a viral meme that pretty much everybody knows about. This quote unquote lawsuit occurred on April 16th, 2022, where Kim Kardashian's son was playing Roblox until he stumbled upon an ad that had a picture of Kim's cry face. And when he clicked on it, it showed a game and the game name said Kim's new tape. With some more context, the developer of the game stated that they leaked an unseen footage of Kim's old tape her son later on showed it to her and at first she said oh it's a game yeah. oh well then we're suing them if it's a game with my name and picture she then later on called kanye to talk to him about the whole roblox situation and before he even answered the call she started crying which is now this infamous meme it's okay it's not okay though it's not you know on roblox <laughs> she then stated that she has all the time all the money and all the resources to burn them all to the ground but that didn't happen because roblox grabbed the fire hose and banned the game developer and stated that the reference video was never available on our platform we have strict moderation and policies to protect our community including zero tolerance for sexual content of any kind which violates our community rules quite unfortunate for her now the reason why i said quote unquote also is because this happened on the show the kardashians which is a reality tv show and if you didn't know reality tv shows are fake although it might have actually happened and it was just a funny coincidence that it was filmed or they faked it to spice up the episode who knows The Dole V Lawsuit According to a YouTuber named Noobs, this lawsuit on May 9th, 2022 accused Roblox of conducting fraudulent activity by allowing avatar items to be up for purchase on Roblox but then taking them down and not refunding players. This was a class action. Class action lawsuit is targeting everyone who is affected and has not gotten a refund. There's no outcome as of 2023 but there were messages that stated that you've been refunded for deleted clothing items. The Lamborghini lawsuit. This lawsuit occurred on October 2nd, 2022, due to many Roblox developers adding Lamborghini models into their games. It got added so many times to the point where it actually got the Lamborghini company's attention. They forced Roblox to ban and delete anything that is related to Lamborghini. This lawsuit also has no outcome as of 2023, but if I can assume, nothing happened or the company just gave up since there were so many Lambo models. The Child Endangerment Lawsuit According to Ars Technicia, this lawsuit on October 6, 2022 shows can exploit multiple social platforms at once to cover their tracks while financially and exploiting children. It alleges that in 2020, Roblox connected a young girl called SU with adult men who her for months, manipulating her into sending payments using Roblox currency called Robux and inducing her to share explicit photos on Discord and Snapchat through 2021. The lawsuit alleges that Instagram began recommending self-harm content and ultimately SU had to withdraw from schools after multiple attempts. Parents beware, monsters are among us. You see this man, he was arrested because he took a 13 year old child across state lines, her and told everyone this was his daughter. Investigators arrested 33 year old Howard Graham on sex trafficking charges at his job at Clayton County IHOP. Police said the 13 year old girl met Graham on Roblox, a gaming app that's extremely popular with kids. Investigators said that after two days of chatting, Graham encouraged the teen to run away from home. Investigators said the pair had multiple times. And then the reporting says whether or not it is consensual uh, with the minor is considered. The teen eventually told Graham she wanted to go back home to another person who was staying in the home, but Graham took her to the Dollar Tree instead. Roblox is the name of the app. The lawsuit says that platforms neglect to prevent predators access to minors, suggesting cheap and simple fixes that platforms overlook because they potentially limit profits. These suggestions include warning minors about potentially predatory engagement, verifying the age of account holders, restricting adult users from messaging minor users, banning adult users who message minors, or preventing minors from circumventing parental oversight by limiting minors access to certain features and abilities to create duplicate accounts. 
grounds. Because of the extreme circumstances, CU and SU were suing the defendants for violating multiple laws, including unlawful business practices under California's unfair competition law for developing platforms that are allegedly addictive and exploitive to children. They have also brought claims of invasion of privacy and unjust enrichment, including alleging that platforms like Roblox, Snapchat, and Discord financially benefit for quote-unquote knowingly assisting, supporting, and facilitating the solicitation and exploitation of SU and similarly situated children. In particular, they accuse Roblox, which the lawsuit notes markets its coding training to schools, camps, and Girl Scouts, and has a gaming platform user base that's mostly kids, of failing to update its features as it experience quote-unquote explosive growth for fear of sacrificing profits. As of 2023, this is still a huge problem to these platforms, especially Roblox, and I am not sure if this lawsuit is still ongoing. The Illegal Gambling to Minors Lawsuit This lawsuit was filed on August 21st, 2023 against Roblox Corporation for allowing children to gamble actual money, Robux, crypto, gift cards, promo codes, so on and so forth. This situation in particular may be something that Roblox can control since these are third-party websites. What I also want to mention is that these websites also sponsor content creators into bribing their fan base into getting their Roblox accounts terminated. I totally haven't mentioned someone doing the exact same thing before. I do not recommend going onto these websites to gamble because it can turn to an addiction and unfortunately I knew some groups who are currently addicted to Roblox gambling as I'm making this video. This whole law student situation is really saddening and upsetting for everyone including myself for just looking at how people can just bribe minors into doing something they'll regret in the future. As of right now, this is still an ongoing problem and I don't know if it'll ever be fixed anytime soon. The False Advertising Lawsuit According to a YouTuber named Noobs, this lawsuit started in April 19th, 2022 due to Roblox allowing players to place adverts on the Roblox platform at the time. The feature was always a very controversial one. Roblox's demographic are mostly children and when it comes to advertising to children, a bunch of laws come into play. These are his words, not mine, so don't judge me. Truth in Advertising filed a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission alleging that Roblox quote-unquote completely shrinked its responsibility when it comes to moderating ads and following the advertising laws. If you go on team Org. They are still trying to take legal action on Roblox to this day, and there's articles dedicated to this. Guys, make sure you subscribe to Shinzu, because if you don't, somebody else will, and you will die in a fatal car accident in two years. <laughs> See you later.